Okay, this video is for capped flood. A co-worker and friend. So this is coming onto my property. I've got no cattle because cows are getting onto my land. <laughs> Make sure neighbors knew. Basically starts this and goes all the way down along that line. This field is CRP, which means the government's paying me money to keep it out of uh, corn and soybeans and into native grasses. So I mowed this trail. I mow it every time I come down. It's just an old farm field trail that I enjoy it. This tree came down a couple weeks ago, 4th of July. It cut all that back. You get an idea how tall these plants are. Here's an area where I'm trying to clear it out a little more. Get a good view of the west. See a farmer's field there. There's a little tree I planted from uh, 2012. Bought a hundred of them when I bought the land. There's probably six or seven are left. That water jug's there to water it. Here's a young walnut tree that I'm kind of managing, taking care of the branches that aren't needed. These are big, kind of, they're kind of useless trees. Even the, the DNR Forestry Department says they're called uh, uh, Chinese elm. So I girdled them, I killed them by cutting a ring around the circumference with a chainsaw, just enough so that they couldn't supply water and stuff up it. Right now it's good for woodpeckers and stuff, but I'll chop it down eventually and use it for firewood and allow for better trees to get in there. So, of course my property is just inside this fence row and where the grass is basically a little bit to the left of the grass. These are some nice walnut trees, natural growing walnut trees. They've got some good sized walnuts on them and my land kind of ends in the corner there and so you go around this way and lo and behold got the beehives so there's my two beehives see i got a chair there the sign should say no uh, caution apiary but it's faded so i have a chair there when i have my bee suit on i could sit there and watch them so um along here there's a two so there's some trees that I planted under that one this spring and th that one right there this spring got them from uh, off of Craigslist for free some church sale that they didn't sell them all so they gave them away this is another tree that I planted in 2012 like the one that I said previously but it's growing much better so back there you can see there's a in the weeds it's a um, sickle mower and there's a disc. I bought both of those off of Craigslist. That disc disced up this whole 18 acres. Um, and I took that thing apart with the guy that I bought it from and we put it in the back of my Subaru and I reassembled it here on the land. And those boxes are to hold weights so that the, uh, the discs, you can kind of see the discs, those round blades discs would go in the ground deeper that's a pile of walnut there that's firewood well I was going to use it for woodworking projects and I still may you can see some of those like that one and that one they have a coating on them a wax coating which prevents them from splitting as much but that was from a neighbor that had a tree go down so right there's my farm all tractor and it just sits in that shed during the summer with it open because it gets so hot in there. In the winter I pull the, the, the door down, the flap door, and it gets pretty warm in there, uh, even on cold winter days and sunny days anyways, and uh, keeps the tractor in good working condition. So I just built this last week. It's, I'm always looking for pallets on Craigslist. If I see them, I go make a run in the morning somewhere in the cities or suburbs and get these free pallets. And they're good for stuff like this. So I'm trying to store, especially here, this is for my maple syrup next spring. I've got them split to small size and I'm trying to dry them really well so that they burn good and hot. That way it'll boil the maple sap better. And those over there are still, they're wet, they're greener. 
and um, they're in different stages. I'll probably go through, you know, this much, this much, and this this much times three. So, but I'll get more as the summer progresses, more drier stuff. That goes back four feet too. I mean, it's like two rows of that. There's my uh, boat that I stored out here. Got it from the family in this little cabin. And I caught many fish in that boat, the same one from 1977. There's my little trailer that I bring down and I also use for my real estate to help declutter homes and staging and stuff. So back here is um, those chairs are from my grandparents. They had them on the east side of St. Paul, East 7th Street from the 1960s. Now I got them. This bench, I welded. I, I was a welder. I made the metal parts for parts of this back in like 1982 or something. They're supposed to last 100 years. Probably will. These are my storage sheds. There, it just costs about 100 bucks, 150 bucks each, and I can use them because uh, instead of a permanent structure, it doesn't ra raise my taxes. Some old signs, some real estate stuff. For now, there's a tree that I planted here from I had in my backyard. Planted from like six inches tall, and then it grew this size. Put it out here recently. There's another old table that I welded back in the 1980s. It's been around a long time. There's a wood-burning stove underneath that kind of sled that I used to, for maple syrup. That little shed in the background there, that siding I got for free from one of my clients who was tearing her house down South St. Paul. And he said, go ahead and grab it. The rest of it's got barnwood, which I got for free too. And I got it shingled and everything, which of course I got free on Craigslist. There's my little fire pit. You can see my riding lawnmower, which I got from my parents when they uh, sold their place. They didn't need it anymore. I mow every time I come down here. That's my bee suit. I'm just getting it ready. This is part of the field. I also own those woods way back there. There's a trout stream back there. There's more woods that I own then there is field. I own 18 acres of field and 23 acres of, uh, of woods and trout stream. So part of the native grasses that I planted are the black-eyed Susans. Those flowers there, that's what those are called. The yellow ones, even though they're called black-eyed Susans. And um, you know, this is part of the trail that I got cut kind of going through there with the tractor, but I won't go through it. The car